A client story of mine, uh, actually is a personal one to me, it was my grandmother-in-law who uh, we took care of towards the end of the life. This lady was a very special lady to my, my wife. It was very important for her that she got the care that she deserved, right, and needed. She was diagnosed and put on hospice. Uh, and when she went on hospice, she needed 24-7 care. So my mother-in-law did everything that she could to be available to her, but she couldn't do it all, right? And that's the story of almost anybody on hospice, is that hospice is always there, and that's just not the case. They need 24-7 assistance, right? And so uh, we provided that 24-7 assistance, and we gave them an immaculate care team. I remember going over there for Christmas, uh, seeing the care staff, and you wouldn't even know she was getting care. She was in a wheelchair playing cards with us, um, and the caregiver, her name was Landy, I remember this vividly. Landy came over, uh, took, her, took her to her room. She needed, she needed assistance with toileting. Um, and you wouldn't even know she was getting care. You didn't even know she was gone, right? She wheeled her off, the family continued playing cards, they brought her back, and they just enjoyed being a family. And that was her last Christmas. She passed away, I would say, a couple weeks after that. And so that, that was very personal, not only to myself, because obviously it was my grand, grandmother-in-law, but it also helped me open my eyes to more hospice care. So many people, when, you, when, when they go on hospice, they don't know the options around hospice. Um, and that's something about a, a place at home is hospice is one of my top referral sources that I tell people to go after. I think that it's very, very important they get the care. Some agencies don't like it because it's short-term care, right, unfortunately, right, because of the situation. Um, but sometimes it has to be bigger than the business itself. Uh, and so that's where hospice came in. And even if you can provide three days of reprieve to that family before someone passes away, it's, it touches your heart, I guess you would say.